All right, guys, and we are back with the second game of this second match, the top four. Jins Erickson on the right playing as Aaron on the left. And I got to say, I'm sorry, Aaron and Andreas. Andreas? Andreas. 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 I, I don't know. No, Apologize, Aaron, if we're getting it wrong, but you made it to the top four, so we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, Andromeda on the right. What? And, ice Ice uh, Hedge Fund. Looks like Wayland on the left. And let's just get to it. Ice Ice Hedge Fund. Sure Gamble, Sure Gamble, Desperado. And professional Perko. contacts. It's Perko in it. <clears throat> Seems like a solid opening for both people. See a snare in uh, Aaron's hand over there. There's really two. Hostile er takeover. Boom. Hey, one, out of hand. One Boom. down. Hey. He needs, hey. needs four more points. Here you are. Uh, professional contacts. What do you think? Thoughts? So professional contacts versus Opus here. What I, do we think? It's a good card. It's a very good card. Uh, I don't know that I like it in Andromeda. It's It's there. People do it a lot. People like it. So it's apparently good enough for people to like I it. I feel like you guys have Mr. Lee, so... That's that's my thought process. I'd Mr. Lee, just, I think, is better than Perko. I'd probably just run that. <clears throat> and we got a Corroder. Corroder in the hardware row. Man, what? look at that. The, Jins doesn't believe in rows. Boom, ice, install, ice. install, install. Install. That's solid. He's going for it. He is pushing for the win here. You got to go quick. Now, Jins has to get in the server, I think. I think this is critical. He must get in the server. Can he do it? We're, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. He's had a solid opening so far. He's certainly thinking He's about it. He's R&D. R&D, maybe res some ice. Get some Crash credits him. out of the credit pool. He's going to go ahead and break it. Okay. Having to consider. It stays. It stays. I imagine we'll see an HQ run now. There's trying to, the trying to bait him into some more ice. And the only card in hand, a three-pointer. That's not good. Wow. It's not what you want to see. Wow. Makes me wonder what that is in that server over there. Yeah, because he didn't even res the ice. He has ten credits as well. Amazing. It, it has to be another agenda, and he's just trying to get there. Yeah, it's got to be. But I don't imagine you play out a three-pointer like that. Unless that's what his hand was. Boy, I would have. All right, third click, running on the remote. You know, Jins has a government contracts installed. Oh, you there. know what it is? It's a snare. You think so? That server is definitely a snare. Yeah. And there it is. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Worth it? No. But how do you know? I mean, you got to hope that he's not running HQ there. Whoa. Ooh. Good hand. Good hand to pull there. All right. So one of three here coming down the stretch. Install Jackson. Draw two. And draw two again, I'm guessing. Where he is at this point. Yeah. Okay. That's there we go. Now we've got hostile? some options. Got some options here. Got some different ice types. To uh, put that early pressure on. Professional contacts twice for Jins. I will say, professional contacts, whenever I have it out, it's one of my favorite cards. Yeah, it's fantastic. But until that moment, it sucks. <laughs> Last click, Data Sucker, all right. What is this row? It's a row, man. It's just, just a, a row, row of cards. Of I'm so confused by it. Do you think you. Uh... I always get in trouble with Jackson because I put him in my good server, and then I'm like, but I want to install something there now. I mean, you can just remove him. That's the beautiful thing. You, you can just remove him. It's it just there. comes down to, sure, I'll shuffle two hedge runs and a snare back in my deck. I but don't it, care. Imagine if he was installed outside of that server. Yeah, and Does then it, he's going to get trash. Well, it at least forces, gonna run a, on it. forces a click, you know? Yeah, but you might as well leave him in the server so you have the option for two cards for until you don't need it anymore. Until I don't want them two cards. Bad pun making R&D really good. And that's just one card the old fashioned way. Yeah, this is doing hard work here. He knows there's three pointers in the deck, so those kinds of runs become a little bit more. Could also be his only three pointer in the deck. It's true. Uh, it's not the most uncommon thing. Plastic Creek, that's bad. Plastic Creek coming news. out. You don't want to see that as a tag and bag deck. And he's running snares, so you know it's a tag and bag deck. Yeah, I'm pretty certain <clears> there. <throat> or maybe that's what he wants us to think. It's possible. <laughs> but you might as well run it at that point. 
those Martell tokens? They are Martell tokens, <laughs> yes. No cross universe gaming, please. What, what is that operation agent? Was that, that was a C source. C source. That was a C source. You C source get rid of professional contacts here? Probably not, since he's eleven credits. He does have eleven credits. An expensive closed accounts. Yeah. And it's all over archives. So there we have the whole field iced Boom. up. That's what you want to see, really. It is what you, you want. You need to lock those servers down as quick as possible before those data sucker tokens get out of hand. Uh, I imagine we'll be seeing uh, Mimic and Yogg at some point soon. Yeah, it seems to be really... What is this row? <laughs> it's designed to make the corp not know what you have. There's a shadow. You gonna waste a fair on a shadow? Probably not. I don't think you do. You just shake the tag. Well, you probably just pay it with bad pub, because that's what you have. Yeah, and then pay him for the bastion, getting one back. Getting one token. card at a time. Nothing there yet. Seems like a pretty standard Andromeda build that you would see. That's exciting. Proco. Inside job in the hand. And this is a, both a good and bad hand for Aaron, I think. Tons of ice coming down the pipe here. I think he might want some agendas before that code gate gets out, maybe? I don't know if he's running code the gates. The thing he wants is he wants agendas to score before Andromeda gets set up. Absolutely. Because yeah, that's what he's looking for. I don't think that Aaron has any fast advance options. He is paying to win at this point. Yeah. Uh, you have Plast Creed out. It's going to be tough to flatline. It's just not good news. And so a new server comes to light here. It's an interesting choice. It's a beautiful looking court board there. Yeah, but it's not good whenever you're uh, constrained for pressure. But it looks good. It does look good. And that, <clears throat> that matters. Special order, so we're not going to get uh, the wish here. We're going to have a fully set up Andy right now. And it's going to be not fun. For the corporation, that is. Oh, Mimic. Mimic! Not what I expected. It's going to make Shadow a lot easier to deal with. Indeed. Going back to R&D, one card at a time, he says. You gotta do what you gotta do. And this could actually be very good for Aaron. Drain some of those credits, start to get him a little bit low, then you might have a window to score an agenda out the hard way. That's really his, his best chance at this point, I think. Because he and has on, to score the agendas. On Jensen, I mean, you know, I think he's cool to sit back here. Wait, wait and make him play into a remote. That's the, the beautiful thing. He can just gain money, check R&D every now and then. Caduceus. Caduceus that is a cost, good card. It's going to cost him two. With Mimic out, it is not great. It's not great against <laughs> Mimic, but it is a good card. My Caduceus, they've been getting destroyed recently. And there's a melange, gonna trash that. Down to four credits. Keeps That's using that good. data sucker token to lower that bastion. Yeah. Interesting. I feel like he I feel like a token is just as good, if not it's better just than as a good. credit. But what happens whenever that Caduceus was an archer? Yeah. Fairy happens. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy sweet, happens. Sweet Michael. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just one of those things. But I mean credits. You know, credits are for beating traces and one other. There's some, there's some merit to keeping your credits around. I'm, I'm aware. I just would like to see more than one token on the data sucker. There's a power grid overload. Now, do you go to uh, play to trash this Desperado at some point? I think that you trash the Plast Creep. Because that's your win condition. Yeah, it seems like it. And we're assuming that is his win condition. Well, that's how he killed me. Oh. <laughs> I guess with Wayland, it's always a win condition. It's a thing. For sure. This card and cards. One thing he doesn't have, though, is money. That, that is accurate. He hasn't seen very many operations. He had that opening turn, but then that's about it. And I feel like he need that money. A poor corp is a sad corp. Running the remote. It's a melange. Desperado credit gets it away. Just go away, melange. No one likes you here. Very Dirty liner on HQ. <clears throat> Access in one card at a time. Oh, 
Wow. All right. Data Sucker gets the tokens. We get five back for Dirty Laundry, and Jin's having no problem with Econ this game. Money is his. Let's check out the archives. Keeping you honest. It's... I'm, I'm really not liking where Andrew is right now. Aaron? Aaron. I'm not liking where he is either. I feel like this is a tough and just not drawing anything he wants. I think he just jacks it out here and try to get all the tools you need. It's it's such a There it is. Losing in the There's game. a scorch, there's one in hand. Yeah, but that's not gonna win in the game. He's got a power green, he's got a scorch, he gets another scorch, now we have a win condition. We just gotta get money. And, and agendas of contract. two three point agendas. That's in not hand. what you want to see. I think you chuck those to Jackson there. Probably is going to happen. Let's see. HQ's a crazy place right now. It's so vulnerable. I don't like. I don't like him in there. Yeah, there they go. Yep. Back into the deck. <laughs> Let's retry this one. And I think Jins is going to force the Jackson remove here. Yep. I mean, that's really the the best option here. And it's funny, you know, these scorched heavy decks are really not what you want in a top four style match with the old tiebreakers. You yeah. really want to be able to churn out points. I mean, if he's playing NBN fast advance right now, he has this game won. You assume you can easily get to uh, four to five points with not much trouble. There's the Jackson removal. It's such a it's such a bad place right now. Yeah. I don't I don't know how you win this game at this point. You have to get rid of that plastic greet. So two Jinnas going back in, as well as a Milan was that a Melange or a hedge fund? I can't remember. It was like one. a hedge fund. It was a hedge fund on top. Turns out hedge funds are good with this identity. Some of the best <clears> in the game. <throat> Restructure though now has come out since these matches and why not run both? Another great whaling card. Why not both? It's not a whaling card. It's, it's neutral. It's a, yeah. You're right. It's my Jindeki deck. It's in yeah. It's in my NBN as well. But it feels very Wayland. It's it's definitely going to be in most Wayland. They decks. love them. One card for six money is not a bad thing. And we saw so much of it out of Grindel from uh, oh I'm trashing the second plast screen. That's what that's what Aaron wants to see. Yeah, I don't need it. Well. We need a ton of money here. I mean, even if it's just the hard way, three a turn, try to get lucky. All right, running that remote. Going to find a Jackson, I think. What did he install? Who knows? And now we're looking at the line of breakers over there. Trashing Jackson. I think that's probably the right call, trying to make him spend some money. Yeah. None of the cards in his discard pile are necessary right now. He's probably hoping to get a couple turns of drawing out of Jackson. Yeah. Which would be really nice right now. I mean, you've got to find money in there somewhere. And Sea Source consistently in play, but Jin's taking away the money option here. Now going to He's R&D. He's got so much money. Here we go. Those early bad pub are so clutch. Scores. Uh, five points. He's at five there. Playing a very careful game, staying on top of the cash. Old fashioned way. Running it again. See, this is. Now he's going down a, low. This can be a little reckless here. He is low on money. We could see a snare there, you know? Fin Fatal. All right, let's see sucker. if let's see if Aaron has a play here. Gain money? Is that his play? And sell over the server. And is this a real card? Draw. And I mean, you've got to think you're going to install there if you're going to. It is an agenda. That's the game-winning agenda there. What is happening? Well, I'll tell you what I think it is. Is uh, I think it's a. Well, there it is. I mean, 
It's only got six money. Data Pike does not have a code gate breaker. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Whoa. Wow. We're going to see an inside job in this We're going to see an inside job so hard here. It's unbelievable. What are we going to see, Tim? I, I, is there an inside job in there? There's an inside job in there. Is there? I don't feel... I, you, you've got the criminal eyes. I can't see it from here. I thought I saw one earlier. There's a fem, if nothing else. Check and HQ could it. also score here, right? I think there's one in there. Nope. Oh, Beanstalk. Beanstalk. Ooh, good to see. Easy mark, R&D, yeah, Femme Fatale, inside, inside job. job. Yeah, I saw a little creepy dude there. All right, you've got Man, to... I... You have to do it, don't you? You've got to do it. Unless it's yeah, like a pop-up. There it is. Now, does he have cheap ice on top? That's, That's it. Game. All right, there and we Jens go, moves guys. On. Woo! He was a Caduceus up top, so two credits just short of being able to put that off. Wow, what a game. All right, so Jin's moving on to the finals, and uh, I expect a really good game it's, out of Jin's and Veen here. That was intense. It's going to be great. Huge congrats to both Aaron and Jin's for making it this far. Aaron, tough to see you go, but uh, a, certainly a valiant, a valiant attempt here. And there's always Worlds next year. Guys, if you like what we're doing... Uh, as much as we do, then uh, please take a look at supporting us via the store, or perhaps better, just watch it in the live stream every Wednesday night, 6.30 Central Time. Uh, we do stream our Covenant Store games of Netrunner on Wednesday nights. It's a and, good uh, old time. It's a good old time. Nicknames are born, legends are made, and uh, we can't wait to see you there. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next bit of Netrunner, which is going to be the finals from Worlds 2013. See you guys later.